Hey everybody, this morning I'm here in downtown Palm Springs. It's December 8th and Dionne Warwick is getting her star here on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars at 11 a.m. So I'm going to walk over there now. I saw there is a crowd already gathering. I've been a fan of Dionne Warwick since I was a kid, since back in the 1960s. And I would say my favorite Dionne Warwick songs are Don't Make Me Over and Anyone Who Had a Heart. How about you? What are your favorite Dionne Warwick songs? I see lots of cars coming, lots of people walking in that general direction. So let's get over there and see what we can see. We're so excited to give the 447th star on the Palm Springs Walk of Star to the amazing Dionne Warwick. She was born in East Orange, New Jersey on December 12, 1940. By the age of 14, Dionne Warwick's talent had been locally recognized and she sang along with their sister and cousins and formed the Gospel Heirs. They won the amateur contest of the Fame Apollo Theater and then went on to sing back up to Fame stars like Dinah Washington, Chuck Jackson, and Solomon Burke. It was in 1959 she received a music scholarship to the University of Hartford in Connecticut. And it was there music conductor and composer Burt Bacharach heard her unique voice. It was in 1962, Warwick signed a recording contract and her first single, Don't Make Me Over, and you know that was a hit. Yeah. <laughs> Once the star was launched by becoming the first crossover artist to have a dozen consecutive Billboard Top 100 hits. Yeah. In 1968, Warwick became the first African-American solo female artist to receive a Grammy. The song was, Do You Know the Way to San Jose? By 1970, she had recorded 30 hit singles, close to 20 best-selling albums, and received her second Grammy for the album, I'll Never Fall in Love Again. She hosted the successful music, music program, Solid Gold, the Soul Train Music Awards, and her own show, Dion and Friends. Good afternoon, Palm Springs. What a warm welcome to Miss Warwick. I'm so honored to um, be here today to welcome you to our city. And you can see how much support you have in the community, both in the city of Palm Springs and in our LGBTQ community and everyone that you've inspired in your career. So thank you for being here. I'm so honored to add you here to our Palm Springs Walk of Stars and give you one of the best, if not the best location in the city of Palm Springs. Warwick is one of the most charted female vocalists of all time, with 56 of her singles making Billboard's Hot 100, 12 ranking top 10 singles, and 80 singles in total. Ms. Warwick has been nominated for 14 Grammy nominations and has garnered five Grammy awards. At the age of 80 years old, you continue to tour and entertain hundreds of thousands of audiences every year. Ms. Warwick continues to give back to charitable organizations throughout her career. Now, therefore, we, the City Council of the City of Palm Springs, on behalf of our entire community, by the power vested in us, we here dedicate your star and we here do proclaim the eighth day of December 2021 to be Dionne Warwick Day. First of all, thinking of me in this fashion, it's an overwhelming feeling to not only feel, but to see the love and care that I don't know why we feel I deserve. There are many, so many, yes, I know that. That's why. Thank you. Thank you, darling. I am, um, I said last night, and I'll say it again, I am not one that speaks, I sing. So, forgive the shortness of this, but accepting this honor, when I will always remember, of course, I cannot thank you enough 
again for thinking of me to receive and where you put me. <laughs> Ain't so bad either. <laughs> the young man that um, I first saw do his interpretation of Dionne Warwick <laughs> in a show in Las Vegas. And I took my two sons, who were youngsters, no babies at the time, to the show. And the maitre d' said, do you really want to bring them in here? I said, yeah, I, I want them to see this young man because I haven't seen him either. He said, okay. So he sat us in the back of the room. <laughs> And when this young man walked on stage, my youngest baby said, Mommy, Mommy, he looks like you. <laughs> yeah, he sure does. <laughs> well, he's here with us today. He was here with me last night. Has been a friend, a true friend for many, many years. He's sitting in what is here today. His name is Tim Dunn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he had everything down. Hair, dress, motion, even the way I move my mouth sometimes. <laughs> it was an absolute pleasure to know that I'm being thought of in a primary community of people that felt I made a difference in their lives. And I do thank you so very, very much for acknowledging that, I do. I, I want you to know everything that I do does not come for any recognition. It comes from my heart. My grandfather, who was a minister, told me and my siblings at a very young, young age that we are all here to be of service to each other. I find that very easy to do. And not only that, but he said also, if you can think it, you can do it. And I follow that mantra. I really do it. It's something I feel that we all have the capability of doing if we put our minds to doing it as well as our hearts. I cannot say it again, but I will. Thank you, thank you, thank you. so interested and her film don't make me over the documentary is going to be opening our palm springs film festival january 7th so we are all about dion warwick all the time yeah, he's got a signature wow nice nice thank you yeah. i'm a, what's, I'm, what's a new, I'm a news anchor in uh Louisville, and I watch your YouTubes all the time. Really? Which, which channel? Uh, the Palm Springs channel or the Gravesite channel? Uh, the what? The Gravesite channel or the Palm Springs channel? Both. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. your name? Joel. Joel, okay. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thanks for saying hi. You're doing a great job. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Wow, I have to say that was so awesome. I'm so glad I heard about this just yesterday. So thanks for joining me once again. Until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.